Marjorie Dion. I'll be reading a segment of Fifty Shades of Grey for you today. It is a lovely erotic novel for all ages. I'm going to fuck you now, Miss Steele. He murmurs as he positions the head of his erection at the entrance of my sex. Hard, he whispers as he slams into me. Ugh! I cry as I feel weird pinching sensations deep inside of me as he rips through my virginity. He stills, gazing down at me, his eyes bright with ecstatic triumph. His mouth is slightly open, and his breathing is harsh. He groans. You're so tight. You okay? I nod, my eyes wide, my hands on his forearms. I feel so full. He stays still, letting me... A word I cannot read right now. Uh, it's like... Me acclimatize? Acclimatize? Acclimatize. Acclimatize. acclimatize to the intrusive, overwhelming feeling of him inside me. I'm going to move, baby. He breathes after a moment. His voice tight. Oh! He eases back with ex exquisite slowness. And he closes his eyes and groans and thrusts into me again. I cry a second time. He stills. More? He whispers in a raw voice. Yes, I breathe. He does it once more and stills again. I groan, my body accepting him. Oh, I want this. Again, he breathes. Yes, I plea. And he moves, but this time he doesn't stop. He shifts onto his elbows so I can feel his weight on me, holding me down. <clears throat> he moves slowly at first, easing himself in and out of me. And as I lay, I lost my place for a second. And as I lay, I grow accustomed to the alien feeling. My hips move tentatively to meet his. He speeds up. He moves and pounds on me, picking up speed, merciless and relentless rhythm. I keep up, beating his thrust. He grasps my head. He grasps my head between his hands and kisses me hard, his teeth pulling my lower lip again. He shifts, he shifts slightly, and I can feel something building deep inside me, like before. I start to stiffen as he thrusts on and on. My body quivers, bows. A sheen of sweat gathers over me. Oh my! I didn't know it would feel like this. Didn't know it could feel as good as this. My thoughts were scattering. Last page. There's only sensation. Only him. Only me. Oh, please, I stiffen. Come for me, Anna, he whispers breathlessly, as I unravel at his words, exploding around him as a climax and splinter into a million pieces underneath him. And as he comes, he calls out my name, thrusting hard, <laughs> <laughs> then stilling as he empties himself into me. I am still... I am still panting, trying to slow my breathing. My thumping heart and my thoughts are righteous disray. Wow, that was outstanding. Now, if you would like to buy Fifty Shades of Grey by E.L. James, we should pick it up here at the local Stop and Shop. Thank you for listening. We are glad to have bring you that segment. You're low on battery.